ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு அவர் ஐபிஎம் டெய்லி எம்சிக்யூஸ் அண்ட் ஆன்சர் ரைட்டிங் ப்ராக்டிஸ் ஃபார் யூபிஎஸ்சி எக்ஸாம் ஸோ இந் திஸ் சீரியஸ் எவ்ரி டே வி ஆர் டிஸ்கஸிங் கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் ரிலேட்டட் எம்சிக்யூஸ் அண்ட் ஆன்சர் ரைட்டிங் ப்ராக்டிஸ் டிப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் அண்ட் டிஸ்கஷன் ஃபார் மெயின்ஸ் எக்ஸாமினேஷன் அண்ட் த கொஷின்ஸ் இயர் ஆர் பிக்டு ஃப்ரம் எவ்ரி டேஸ் ஹிந்து இந்தியன் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் அண்ட் பிஐபி அண்ட் த ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஹவ் பின் செட் ஆன் த லைன்ஸ் ஆஃப் யூபிஎஸ்சி எக்ஸாமினேஷன் ஃபைன் வில் கோ இன் டு தி டூ டேஸ் டிஸ்கஷன் கொஸ்டின் நம்பர் ஒன் வித் ரெஃபரன்ஸ் டு கிரேட் இந்தியன் பஸ்டர்ட் கன்சிடர் தி ஃபாலோவிங் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்ஸ் நம்பர் ஒன் த கிரேட் இந்தியன் பஸ்டர்ட் த ஸ்டேட் பேர்ட் ஆஃப் குஜராத் இஸ் கன்சிடர்ட் இந்தியாஸ் மோஸ்ட் கிரிட்டிகலி என்டேஞ்சர்ட் பேர்ட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் டூ கிரேட் இந்தியன் பஸ்டர்ட் பாப்புலர் is confined mostly to Rajasthan, Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Statement 3. Great Indian Bustard is under constant threats due to electrocution with power transmission lines, hunting, habitat loss and alteration as a result of widespread agricultural expansion. Which of the statements given above are correct? Friends, take your time and answer this question. How you answer this question? This great Indian bustard came in today's Hindu newspaper where they discuss us about great Indian bustard are found in Chaulistan Desert of Pakistan that is the neighboring country but the actual habitation of this great Indian bustard is in Rajasthan they are actually doing captive breeding in India in Desert National Park moreover this is uh, a IUCN category of critically endangered and in addition they are distributed in the states of Rajasthan Gujarat Maharashtra Karnataka Andhra Pradesh friends how to remember this you can remember the shape of l starting from Rajasthan come down next is Gujarat then come down you have Maharashtra then take a right turn in a single line so that comes under Karnataka and then Andhra Pradesh is it fine this is how you need to remember the distribution of great indian bustard and they have been under constant threat. due to poaching hunting especially these hunting activities are occurring mostly from pakistan the other side of the border where these birds are now found recently is it clear now going into the question first statement great indian bustard the state bird of gujarat that is a wrong fact because great indian bustard is a state bird of rajasthan and it comes under critically endangered that is perfectly right but the first of the state bird of gujarat is wrong so once you eliminate the first statement look at the option given below option a which contains one can be eliminated option c which contains one can be eliminated and option d which contains one can be eliminated so the correct answer is option b 2 1 3 only is it clear here but you can go through statement 2 and 3 and you can cross verify the facts again so the great distribution is in those five states which we have discussed and the threat is due to power transmission lines hunting habitat loss and agricultural expansion all are correct now we'll go into the next question with reference to operation make chakra recently in news is talked about in the context of a steps to reduce rupee depreciation by rbi b action plan by india to tackle china along lac option c online circulation and sharing of child sex abusive material option d unmanned aerial vehicle developed by drdo friends take your time and answer this question have you answered this question this operation make chakra is discussed in today's hindu editorial and there is an excellent article related to child sexual abuse so kindly go through that so the operation make chakra deals with taking action against online circulation of child related pornographic material fine and one more operation india has done in the past last year that is called operation carbon that is also related to child sexual abuse material fine so in upsc exam if they ask you operation make chakra or operation and carbon you have to go with the child sex abusive material as the options is it clear so the correct answer here is option c online circulation and sharing of child sexual abusive material and this particular editorial which came in today's hindu paper is also important for your gs paper 2 polity segment where questions can be asked regarding this child sexual abuse now moving into the next question consider the following statements number 1 the carbon that remains in the biomass of paddy when dried and compressed to go can be made into pellets statement 2 paddy pellet scheme launched by environmental ministry will help in incentive management of crop residue through its use as biofuel and thus reduce stubble burning statement 3 paddy pellets provide much more heat emit fewer than 50% of the particulate matter and only a fraction of the ash from a burning and equivalent amount of coal which of the statements given above are correct friends take your time and answer this question
have you answered this question this question came in hindu newspaper related to delhi air pollution fine delhi government blames the stubble burning from punjab haryana as the reason for its worsening air quality and for finding a solution to this stubble burning two types of methods are encouraged by indian government one is incentive method another is extensive method in incentive method the best example is bio decomposer solution we will be spraying on the agricultural fields after harvesting the paddy so what will happen is that once you spray the uh, bio decomposer solution the paddy stalks which are remaining left out in the field will be converted into a useful manure that is the best example for incentive method but in case of extensive method like paddy pellet scheme what we do is that we will collect the paddy stalks left out in the field and we will compress them and make it into a pellet like stone and we will burn in the thermal power plants so this will be giving more heat compared to that of coal that's why it is used as an important biofuel in production of energy and recently our indian government is promoting this particular activity also fine now going into this particular question first statement the carbon that remains in the biomass of paddy when dried and compressed it will be made into pellets that is correct second statement paddy pellet scheme launched by environmental ministry will help in incentive management friends that is wrong because paddy pellet scheme comes under the extensive management is it clear so once you eliminate the second statement look at the options given below option a which contains two can be eliminated option b which contains two can be eliminated and option d which contains two can be eliminated so the correct answer is option c 1 and 3 only you can cross verify this again by reading the third statement paddy pellets provide much more heat or emit less particulate matter that is less than 50% and only a fraction of ash equivalent burning from burning an equivalent amount of coal that is also correct is it fine so the correct answer for this question is option c 1 and 3 only now moving into the next question with reference to national company law tribunal consider the following statements number 1 national company law tribunal was constituted under section 408 of the companies act 2013 on law relating to the insolvency and winding up of companies statement 2 national company law appellate tribunal will hear appeals against the decisions passed not just by national company law tribunal but also competition commission of india and insolvency and bankruptcy board of india statement 3 the decision of the national company law tribunal may further be appealed at the high court of india select the correct answer using the code given below friends take your time and answer this question have you answered this question this national company law tribunal came in today's hindu newspaper in the economic segment related to new ownership of jet airways there the national company law tribunal has asked the jet airways to take care of the provident fund and gratuity fund of the jet airways employees is it fine but with respect to upsc examination this national company law tribunal can be asked in prelims as well as in the mains gs paper 2 segment and this national company law tribunal as we discussed now it is related to managing the company's affairs whenever they do any winding up of companies or insolvency things happen so this is established under the companies act 2013 that is correct first statement and now going into the second statement national company law appeal tribunal will hear appeals against the national company law tribunal competition commission and insolvency bankruptcy board that is also correct friends because this national company law appeal tribunal will deal with the cases of all the these three bodies and here competition commission of india we have discussed in yesterday's video also those who have missed the video kindly go through it again for clarity regarding the competitive commission of india because yesterday the competitive commission of india has awarded a punishment to google to pay 1300 crores for misusing the smartphone platform and the insolvency and bankruptcy board of india here you should know that difference between insolvency and bankruptcy what is insolvency when somebody is an, an individual or a company is saying that he is unable to pay a loan which he has borrowed he is called as insolvency suppose a court itself is declaring that this person is unable to pay means then that is called bankruptcy this is the difference and here also the cases will be the appellate cases appeal cases will be deal in national company law appeal tribunal fine so the first and second statement is correct here move to the third statement the decision of national company law appeal tribunal may further be appealed at the high court of india that is wrong because it will go to the supreme court of india why is it so because this national company appeal tribunal will be 
be headed by a chairman who will be a serving a retired judge of high court that is why this judgment is considered equal unto high court awarding and in any appeal a person has to approach the supreme court of india so the third statement is wrong once you eliminate the option 3 look at the options option b which contain 3 can be eliminated option c which contains 3 can be eliminated and option d which contains 3 can be eliminated so the correct answer is option a 1 and 2 only is it fine now we'll go into the next question with reference to opec plus consider the following statements number 1 opec plus refers to a group of 23 oil producing countries that includes 13 members of opec and 10 other oil producing countries statement 2 russia which is a opec country produces more oil than saudi arabia and plays a crucial role in influencing global crude oil prices statement 3 opec plus grouping was a response by oil producing countries to protect their interest amid the rise of us shale industry which of the statements given above are correct friends take your time and answer this question Have you answered this question? This OPEC Plus also came in today's Hindu newspaper in an economic segment related to a meeting of OPEC Plus, which was headed by Saudi Arabia, where it has decided to cut down the oil production for this particular year. Already the oil prices are soaring high now, and once the uh, Saudi Arabia is asking these OPEC countries to reduce the oil production, means the price will still further rise, and this is actually criticized by most of most of the countries across the globe. That's why in UPSC examination we can expect questions related to. opec plus but you should understand as a conceptual clarity what is the difference between opec and opec plus opec is a body which has been established in 1960 where majority of countries like from middle east and few south american countries have come together to form this particular body in 1960 but OPEC plus was set up very recently in 2016 here after 2015 what happened is USA started selling shale gas in the world as a competitor to this crude oil at a very low price considering that what OPEC countries decided at 2016 is that they included all the small countries which are producing oil also as part of a very larger group to control the crude oil production and the price so the organization which they named in 2016 to include the countries from africa like Sudan South Sudan and then from Central Asia uh, Azerbaijan Kazakhstan and from Asia we have uh, the largest producer of oil uh, that is Russia and then from Southeast Asia we have Malaysia and Brunei to be included in OPEC so and they have expanded it and they have re- renamed it as OPEC plus so it consists of now 23 member countries so the first statement given here is correct and the second statement Russia which is a OPEC country that is actually wrong because Russia is a OPEC plus country and it was not part of OPEC so you can eliminate the second statement and the second fact given here is correct because russia produces even more oil than saudi arabia that is correct first part of the statement given here is wrong so you can eliminate statement 2 and look at the option given below option a which contains 2 can be eliminated option b which contains 2 can be eliminated and option d which contains 2 can be eliminated is it fine so the correct answer is option c 1 and 3 only and you can cross check the third statement also that opec plus is formed mainly to as a competition to usa shale industry that is also correct so the correct answer for this question is option c 1 and 3 only now we'll go into the today's main answer writing practice question critically analyze the impact of climatic change on the coffee producing regions of india suggest your answer with remedial measures 10 marker answer in 150 words friends this particular article came in hindu newspaper in the open end page today so those who are misery today kindly go through that so that they are actually discussing about the negative impacts of climatic change with respect to coffee because coffee is majorly produced in three major states of india Karnataka Tamil Nadu and Kerala and due to this climatic change extreme floods and extreme droughts are happening in the last 5 6 years in India and Karnataka this year actually as experiencing the extreme flood due to that extreme floods these coffee fields are flooded and new pest attacks and diseases are appearing in the coffee field and that is affecting the output of coffee crops and it is causing an loss to the coffee industry in India so you can go through that and you can answer the question but mainly while you are writing the critically answer segment you need to discuss the pros and cons of the impact of climatic change and when you come to the second part of the answer suggest your answer with remedial measures here you need to talk about what are the alternative solutions which are possible to tackle this climatic change phenomenon in coffee producing regions one best example in the hindu article they are suggesting is intercropping intercropping refers to growing a new crop between the crops is it clear suppose if you have a coconut plantation in between if you grow some mango or any other crop then 
we call them as intercropping in karnataka what do is that they grow pepper and cardamom instead of that what experts are encouraging is that they can grow other fruits related crops and that will also give more benefit to these farmers so, and this is with respect to the content but while addressing this question you have to draw diagrams which is very mandatory because this comes under the gs paper 1 geographical segment and whenever you are writing a geographical answer diagram should be mandatorily present at the rate of 1 diagrams per page so you can draw diagrams indicating the distribution of copy growing regions in india in one part of the answer and in the another part of the answer you can draw diagrams related to intercropping so this is how you need to address this question friends and i hope this session was very useful to you we'll meet in next session thank you friends